Let's move on to the sport of boxing for a second here. Because some news came down the other day about the latest exhibition match for Jake Paul. Did you hear about this next fight, y'all? Jake Paul, former YouTube star, has agreed to a match with the one and only Iron Mike Tyson. And now Netflix has decided to throw its hat into the boxing ring, featuring the 27-year-old Jake Paul versus the 57-year-old Mike Tyson. Yes, that is a 30-year difference. Now, Paul has an impressive 9-1 record. Mike Tyson was once known as the baddest man on the planet back in the late 80s and early 90s. Recently, he's been posting videos of his workouts on social media. So here's the question. Are you buying the hype? I wish I could. I hope that I'm convinced to do so. But at this moment, because this is a fluid situation, it's fluid, I reserve the right to change my mind, but I have to confess to you, I can't buy the hype at this particular moment in time. We're speaking to UFC analyst and former UFC light heavyweight and heavyweight champion Daniel Cormier earlier a bit today, and he told me the last time he saw Mike Tyson was when Mike Tyson last year walked into a UFC fight walking with a cane. It's hard for me to believe that somebody walking into, into, the, into the arena with a cane is gonna be in the kind of shape necessary to go up against somebody 30 years younger who, if nothing else, is in shape. Now, I'll give Jake Paul credit for this. At least he's in the ring with a boxer as opposed to a striker or somebody who's pretending to be a boxer but really isn't, or a basketball player or somebody like that. I give him credit because he's going to step into the ring, and when he steps into the ring, it's going to be against an actual boxer. And we all know, I don't give a damn how old Mike Tyson is, if he hits you, it's going to hurt. So one should anticipate that Jake Paul is going to get hurt, going to get hit with a punch. We have to at least concede that, recognize that, and respect that. But 57 years old is 57 years old, and that is Mike Tyson. And 57 years old and formally walking into a UFC fight as an audience member, as a patron with a cane, it's hard to me believe, to believe a year later that you're going to be in any condition to really, really fight. I hope I'm wrong, but I don't know. And if you're Jake Paul, here's what I want to say to you. It's Mike Tyson. That's fine. It's a money fight. I get you. And you want to make money. But at some point in time, if you keep telling us that you're taking boxing seriously and you want to be recognized as a big time boxer slash fighter, you're going to have to fight somebody closer to your age who is a contender at the very least in the sport and who lives with it every single day. You're going to have to do that at some point in time. You don't have to fight the Canelo Alvarez's or the David Benavides of the world or somebody like that. You don't have to do that. But you are going to have to fight a legitimate, bona fide boxer. I'm not talking about some lightweight like Ryan Garcia who's fighting at 140 pounds or Devin Haney. Jake Paul's walking around at 190, 200 pounds. You know, there's a heavyweight fight with Mike Tyson. You're going to have to fight real, real boxers, real fighters. You're going to have to do that. Because even if you beat Mike Tyson, he's still 57 years of age. 57. 30 years older than you. At some point in time, Jake Paul, could you please get in the ring with somebody? Pretty please with sugar on top. I'm interested. It could be potentially compelling. But it's because it's Mike Tyson. Not because we should expect anything from Mike Tyson. We ain't that, we ain't that dumb. We really, really aren't.